Amanda. Amanda. Hala la matlosana hala la. Hala la South Africa hala la. Amanda. Long live the spirit of Nelson Mandela. Long live. Long live the spirit of our first democratically elected president, Nelson Mandela. Long live. Amanda. Dumela. Sanbonani. Molweni. Abishin. Abishin. The Macheron. Hoya Moore. Good morning. Kia Lebuha. Hobona Batubaba Nsi Bamo Matosani. Northwest Sibatilen Kabungata. Kisimule Kaho Lebuha. Program Director Waruna, Minister Zizi Kotwa, the MEC Kinechi Museni, 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 Deputy President Waruna, Ndate Paul Mashatile, Kidumeli se limme humile mashatile. Kidumeli se the minister te ting le the deputy minister. Keko pa orkom rahu kwaali. Leke le tole hanya ne kaubani. Kona le batu baba nti mo South Africa ba mameting se resieza mo kumpiye. And a valley shabby. The television, the camera, the shabby lenina. Yanung Arbatlo, Rebale Bone, Lesa Etwara Sintle, Mo Lita Ting, Labo Tokwa, Lechana Lega Dagajin, Soki Kupahur, Rekere Tule Hanyan, Kabane Lita Tile. Lebo tokwa ha kholo le re khopodisa President wa rona wa mathomo President Nelson Mandela a re ke re motlompe re tlompe le naga ya ha heso re bontse gore letsatsi le ka nnete re le bona le le letsatsi le botlhokwa go fetsa matsatsi a mantsi ka bane ke ka letsatsi le Lei len rafumana tukuluko ya rona. So, ari kere tole hanyani reta reta kona hubua reta ntose dinzi haba baadi performance baata. Kibata hudume disa le premier wa rona wa mo northwest ndate pushi maepe. Kidume disa le executive mayor Wa Kenneth Kaunda District Municipality Councilor Nikki Wenum, the Executive Mayor Waruna Wamomatosani, Councilor Tolela, Kedumeri Se, the Chief of our National Defense Force, General Ruzani Mapwanya, and the other officers and generals of our Defense Force. Members of the judiciary who may be here with us, leaders of various political parties and civil society formations, of course, members of the diplomatic corps who are here, who always grace our occasions with respect for our country and our nation. We welcome you and we thank you for being here. Leba Ruti Baruna, Bateng Harharuna, and various leaders 
of various organizations and extend my greetings to all of you fellow South Africans. Today, across the country, as South Africans, we are celebrating the day on which we all collectively gave birth to a new nation. This is the day when all of us as South Africans got a birth certificate, a birth certificate for our country, because that's when <clears throat> the real South Africa was born. On the 27th of April, 1994, South Africans of all races and all languages and all creeds stood in long winding queues in the exercise of their democratic right for which so many fought and for which so many sacrificed their own lives. And that is why it is important for the Kalitsati Le Chananlile, Rise Tompo, Kubao Bai Lueng Balwanela, Tukuluhoya Rona, Babansi Bai Leba Shwa, Babansi Bai Leba Shwella Koma Hatsing Akunte, Babamba Shwella Trunkung, Balwanela, Le Fasile La Rona. On Freedom Day, not only do we celebrate this defining moment of our nation's long journey to freedom, but we also reaffirm our shared commitment to the promise that this momentous day in 1994 gave to all our people. On Freedom Day, we recall the great progress that has been made in nearly three decades of democracy. But we also acknowledge that so much of the promise of 1994 still needs to be realized. It is on this occasion that we rededicate ourselves to work with greater purpose and determination. We work with greater unity to give full effect to the meaning of freedom in our land. It is fitting that the national celebration of Freedom Day is taking place here in Matlosana, which carries both the pain of our past as well as the promise of our future. The site of a concentration camp for Africans during the Anglo-Boer War, Matosana has a history of dispossession and exploitation. One of the best known sons of our nation and of this area Archbishop Desmond Mpilo Tutu was six years old when his family and many others were thrown out of their homes in the vibrant community of Makweteng to clear the area for white people to settle in. Matosana was home to a mining industry which under apartheid was responsible for the exploitation of mine workers, paying them slave wages and exposing them to terrible working conditions and living conditions. It was here that the National Union of Mine Workers was formed in a church here in 1982 to fight for the rights and the dignity of mine workers. It was here in Matlosana that the Clerkstop Christian Academy was founded in 1989 as one of the first 
multiracial schools in the area only to be bombed by right-wingers during the transition to democracy. Matlosana, like so many places in South Africa, has known great suffering, and the people of Matlosana have suffered greatly as well. But it has also been a place of resistance. It's also been a place where the people of Matlosana struggled against apartheid. But it is also a place of hope. The changes that have taken place in Matlosana since the advent of democracy reflect the broader transformation that is underway in our country. Today, mine workers and other vulnerable workers have rights that those who came before them were denied. Baoba Sebetsang, the mining, Le Baoba Sebetsang, Modi Industry, Tedin Te Fapakaning, Bane Basina di Tukelo, Peleho 1994, Kumpie no, Bana Lidi Tukel, Di Tukelo Sabona. They include the right to be compensated if they are injured or become sick on duty. In the past, when mine workers around the mines in this area were injured or they died, they got nothing. They were not really even fairly compensated. Today, under a democratic government, mine workers are cared for. These include the right to organize. They include the right to full protection under our labor laws. They also include the right to strike without fearing that you would be dismissed. Here in 1987, when mine workers participated in the great miners' strike, 50,000 of them were dismissed within a short space of time and they were sent to their homes just because they had gone on strike. Today, mine workers have won the right to go on strike knowing that they will not be dismissed just merely for being on strike. They have won the right to strike. Today, not only are all schools open to all races, but millions of learners from poor households attend no-fee schools. Every day, nine million learners receive a meal at school. This never was the case before 1994. Last year, just over 900,000 young people set for matric, and more than 80% of them passed. And more and more of the learners are achieving bachelor passes, and they are largely from no-fee schools. The schools that did not have facilities that were relegated to the back under Bantu education. Today, through the National School Finance Aid, NESFAS, more than 700,000 young people from poor working class backgrounds are being funded for their tertiary studies at Tibet colleges as well as at universities. Since the advent of democracy, which started on this day in 1994, access to health care has improved. Many more South African households live in formal dwellings. The government, the democratic government, having continued to build houses for our people and giving them free to those people. Social grants support around 18 million poor and vulnerable people. If you include the social grant we introduced during COVID, you add another 11 million people. 
This is what progress looks like. These are some of the fruits of our democracy. And yet, as every South African knows, we have still much more work to do. Poverty, unemployment, and inequality still define the lives of millions of South Africans today. At this time in particular, families across the country are experiencing great hardship and uncertainty. But Babansi Batopeha, but Babansi Abanatiro, Akerohobialo, but Babansi by 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 Humana Basina the service delivery, Messi Hayo in Tungsarona, Motakase Hauyo. Ditsela mori dulante ndi maswe Mori ntungse dinse dula motona kona le sure je samaya mostrate Ke ona matata are shebaneng le on And haribu anete ke matata are itseng gore ateng Mohare has a chap. And a Kima Tata, Jekal Selukile from Premier Yarona, Ari Sebet and Angluona, Letzati Letzat. Lukile Premier Ari, Matata A Ameti. Kima Tata, Atleting the Baka, Zedin Simo, South Africa. Minister Warona Ameti. O says the Adula Matazia Manzi Honamo Northwest. Le Deputy Minister Yaha. Ba Luki Sayona Taba Eya Mate. Keba file the instructions se clear carry. Luki sang taba ya mate kiona e holo ho feta tedinzi. That's why Balimo. So, Matata Arkopana loan, a whole Moritz Amante, Mobat Varunaba Pilante, Reshevane Leona, Lona Matata A, Holoka for Realukise, Kaubane Reaizi for about Bahae, so Bapila Katata. Our country has been hit by a number of crises political, global, financial, social, and economic shocks, worsening also natural disaster shocks that we've gone through. We also had floods here in Northwest, as we did in KZN, as we did in the Eastern Cape, and in Gauteng as well. And on top of that, we then had the worst pandemic in 100 years that grip the whole world, which is COVID-19. These setbacks have made the devastating apartheid legacy of inequality even much worse. We are also now counting the cost of years of underinvestment in our electricity, in our water, in our rail and port infrastructure. We are feeling the damaging effects of state capture and corruption and concerted efforts to weaken our state and public institutions. As we work to rebuild and reconstruct, we face challenges that are far different to those that were experienced in the earliest days of our democracy. We have to secure our energy future. We have to adapt to climate change. We have to grow our economy and create more jobs. We have to eradicate the scourge 
of gender-based violence and also act against criminality. Freedom cannot be meaningful when South African homes and businesses are without electricity for several hours in a day. Rekasere Renaleto Koloho Hamutakase Oseo Letsati Letsati. That is why we are using every means at our disposal to restore ESCOM's power stations and to build new generation capacity as a matter of greatest urgency. Holukisa ESCOM, le hore hove le mutakasi, ki onan tuere shebaning leona, the benefits of the progress we have made are not yet felt. Load shedding has not yet abated, but we will soon experience the impact of unprecedented investment that is being made in new power generation. When we emerge from this crisis, our energy system will have been fundamentally transformed. It will be more stable, more reliable, and more affordable and more sustainable. Freedom cannot be meaningful when more than 10 million South Africans are out of work. That is why we need to pursue far-reaching reforms we are undertaking to make our economy more competitive, more inclusive, and more attractive to investors. It is because South Africans need jobs that we have raised our ambition to attract and to raise two trillion rand in new investment over the next five years. Having surpassed our investment target, Rebata Hori, Bao Banaling Chalete, Paitli Se Mohoruna Mo South Africa, E Ache the Factory, E Ache the Investment, Zeta Konan Huaha Misebezi, Rarebata 1.2 trillion Yadi Randa, Renerituary Conference, Matatia Afitile. Mori leng ra kona kofeta. Target ele ya rona ya 1.2 trillion. Rafeta rafita ko 1.5 trillion. Ne ele ko ete takur. Ba ba na lindi chelete ba atle. Ba tise di chelete sabon. Re ba takur di chelete seu. Di tle le kona mo matosane mo le lente. Rebata o di chelete teo, di itle le kona mo Northwest. Ho investi we mo Northwest, ho ete sa ho re reache mi sebe eti, kona mo Northwest, le kona mo matlosan. Kao baani, tu kulu ho ya rona, e kasi be, le ntwe rika i tarang sinte, ha, Freedom cannot be meaningful while our people remain unemployed. So we want businesses to invest in our economy. We want investors from various countries. We want investors from our own country to come and invest here as well. Because freedom cannot be meaningful while our people remain unemployed. But freedom cannot be meaningful as well if our people and our communities continue to live in fear of against us and women live fearing the men of our country. Rekaseri hadi Ditsa maya go gotle 
by Tantwe by Rata. Rekase re we are free. Rekase re bom me leba seta na bana kaye so ba taba kuta mamodi trate nka obane kuna le bana ba ba taba bola ya nka po ba taba ba 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 reipa rekase re re kuna le tukolo. We have done much. We have done much to improve the effectiveness of the police and to strengthen our criminal justice system, but we need to do much more. In particular, we need to build durable partnerships of respect and cooperation between the police and communities between the dedicated police officers and the people they have sworn to serve and to protect. We need to unite as a society to end the violence that is perpetrated against women in our country. This is a fight that we must all take up, both men and women, if we want to achieve equal rights and freedoms and opportunities for all. As we undertake all these difficult tasks, we are encouraged and inspired by those who brought freedom to our country and who built our democracy. Unlike so many had predicted, we have not turned on each other. Many before 1994 had predicted that South Africa will turn into a civil war landscape. We have not turned against each other. As South Africans of all races, we remain committed to working together to build the country of our dreams. We are still walking this path together. Our constitution is a shelter for all of us. It is a shelter for black and white, for men and women, for different languages, for different cultures and beliefs. The preamble to our constitution that was read by the young people who stood here is the true meaning of the hope that we have as South Africans. Read by young children from different race groups projecting the future that they want to see as young people from different races. Our constitution is a shelter for people of all sexual orientations and gender identities, for urban and rural dwellers, and for those born in South Africa and from those from elsewhere who have sought refuge here in South Africa. As the words of the preamble of our constitution declare, South Africa belongs to all who live in it, united in our diversity. That is what the young people were reading here. We should think of our country as a large South African family. There are quarrels, there are disagreements, and yes, there are differences on all manner of things, and there are fights that we have. There are seasons of plenty, but there are also seasons and times of scarcity. Sometimes things are good, and sometimes things can be bad. But even when times are bad, a family pulls together. A family stands together. Like all families, which we are as South Africans, let us come together to sort out our differences and solve our problems. We cannot build a better South Africa of equality, 
of freedom and social justice for all if we are a family that turns on itself. Let us focus on what unites us. Let us always remember just how far we have come. Let us take counsel from our elders amongst us, understanding that it is a desire to be of assistance that motivates them. Yes, let us go on and build our country and strengthen our government. Yes, a number of institutions of our government but it is our collective task to strengthen those because this is our family and family is family. Let us stand firm, firm against all that does not progress this family and behavior of those who want to destabilize this South African family. Let us stand firm against corruption and the theft of state resources. Rescadu Melabao, Baba Tan Huutua, Baba Tan Huutua, Tepaya Muso, Tepaya Sechaba, Baba Tan Hududa Basinya. Let us take a stand against public servants who neglect their responsibilities and their duties. Bao ba sebeletsa muso ba sa tlokomeleng sechaba. Bao ba sebeletsa muso ba shebileng bona fela. Bao ba sebeletsa muso Bao ba ikhantsang ba reng ha batho ba tla ba ba tla thuso bona ba ikhantsa ba shebile tsa bona fela Now ha re le gona mo ka o fela rona re le ba dula po ba mo South Africa re tshwanetse gore le rona tseo tse tshwanetse go re die tse re die tse le rona we must also execute our own responsibilities as citizens of our country and we should take a stand against those who do not want to pay for the basic services and those when they are obliged to do so uh, who pay bribes to connect electricity or to make a traffic fine go away. Let us take action against businesses that avoid paying their taxes, that cheat their workers, that break the law and overcharge customers. Let us make our contribution to the success of our country and our South African family. As citizens, especially as young South Africans. Let us all go and register to go and vote next year so that we take responsibility for the future of our country. South Africa South Africa Bobe Bukamoso Bobunte. Just as veterans of 1994 voted for transformation, so must we too. We must exercise our civic duty to ensure that there is no place in this country for those who want to steal, for those who want to plunder, and those who want to loot. We must embrace diversity that makes us strong as a nation instead of fomenting hatred just because we disagree with each other. Diketsa khalo tseo tseri dulan ridi bona mo bao babang bantse bakhupula apartheid ya khale 
baba tla gore batho ba ba ntso ba ska ba le ditukelo tse felletseng a re ditlose ka o fela tse ka o fela rona re badula po ba South Africa we all are South Africans all of us in our diversity in our different cultures and our different languages we must therefore embrace that diversity we must safeguard our gains and we must use those gains and build on them and make sure that the South Africa that we want to build is the South Africa that we always want to defend and to protect. We owe it to the generations to come that we should continue building this South Africa. South Africa e arona ya kumpienu ena le matata manzi empa ke yona South Africa fela eri na leng yona re tshwantse ho re tshara ne matsogo re a ge South Africa ena re khone go tswa mo mathateng a re ne mo go ona gore motlakase load shedding e fela re khone wa ga mesebetsi batho ba rona ba sebetse and le ba o ba etsang crime re etse sho gore a go sa tlhola go bana le crime mo South Africa ntho tse o ka o fela re ka khona go di lukisa ha re sebetsa mmogo re le batho ba mo South Africa South Africa my compatriots is far too important as a country and other countries around the world see us as a very important country let us join hands to continue building this south africa those who struggled and fought for democracy have handed us a valuable south africa and it is now our duty to take it forward and to address and solve the problems and challenges that beset our country as for us in government we are determined to address those challenges and in fact we are addressing them day by day building on the great progress that has been made since 1994 so we look forward to the next freedom day which will be next year when we will be celebrating 30 years of our democracy. I do want to believe that when we ce celebrate 30 years, our lives as South Africans and what we have to deal with will be much better than what it is. Because as South Africans, we remain hopeful. We know what our problems are, we know what we have to do to solve the problems and we know what future we want to have. So knowing all that just means that we must get on with the task of rebuilding our country, of making the life of our people better and working together le ba ba go magae re ka khona go e aga South Africa e ibe South Africa e pila ibe South Africa ya di toro tsa rona ibe South Africa e mogolo wa rona Nelson Mandela ane a lwanela yona ka ba ni Nelson Mandela o ne a lwanela South Africa e pila South Africa e tla khotso fatsang batho ba a he so ka o fela so ke re a re tshwara le matsogo may all of us join hands as we move towards our 30th freedom anniversary in 2024 to make sure that we make south africa a better place may god continue to bless our country and protect our people I wish you all a happy Freedom Day.